Good morning, guys. I hope you're all doing okay out there, whether it's morning, evening, or afternoon, and you're watching this. I hope you're all well, and today I've got an exciting little project that I want to share with you, which is this. Behind me, we have these large letters, and basically these are beautiful antique uh, letters that have been salvaged from somewhere. I think they've been imported from France. These large architectural letters, not quite sure where they came from, but my project today is a bespoke LED lighting project. Basically, we're going to turn each of these letters, there are three of them, into some lights. So these actually used to have old fluorescent tube lighting in, uh, which was quite interesting because the fluorescent tubes were crafted to fit exactly within the light fitting but they've long since had their day and so we're going to be putting bespoke LED strip lighting inside with a dimmer switch in the side so that they can be dimmed. Um, it's going to be just the white LEDs but I think it's going to look really really nice. So I'm going to open these cases up and then I've got a lot of bespoke cutting and soldering to do to get the LED strip to fit exactly the outline of the lettering and then I'm going to drill a hole in the side and mount a dimmer switch in the side of it and then with like a five, five meter cable on each one so that they can plug it into a room and have it as like a sort of very cool bespoke lamp in uh, various rooms throughout the house. There's this one, there's a letter E as well and there's a letter T. So yeah, it's gonna be a pretty cool little project. As you can see, they've got a little bit of rust and stuff, but that's, um, as Drew Pritchard would say, that's patina love a bit of patina so um, these are beautiful things and I'm really privileged to be able to work on them today so I'm going to get them open and um, do a bit of soldering so this is what they look like inside nice solid metal Obviously got a few holes in and bits and pieces, bit of wear and tear from the past, and it's quite rusted down at the bottom here. Um, but that's all character. I mean, these must have seen quite a life over the years, probably some big shop or theater or commercial premises that they were illuminating the front of. I'd love to know how many letters there were in total and what it actually made what the writing was in the end. If it was in France, obviously it's a some kind of French word. But um, I've got the cover off. There's a little crack in it there. That was already there, um, unfortunately. But um, it's holding together just about. So what I'm gonna do is get the LED tape. Well, I'm probably gonna mount the transformer first, the LED driver, and get the flex cable in and whatever. And then once I've mounted that, I'll run the LED tape all the way around from there, cutting it on each corner and then putting a small loop of flex in between each corner. So the LED tape will go all the way around the outside edge, basically. And that should give the best light effect overall, I think, rather than just doing a strip down the middle, which probably wouldn't be as nice and wouldn't be as bright. So I've got plenty of LED strip. I've got over 20 meters in total, so that should be sufficient. And i um, just gonna get cracking. Okay guys, so the first one is nearly done, and I've got to say I'm pretty happy with the result so far. Um, so I've just you know, used this two core flex to go in between to do the solder joints with a little bit of heat shrink. Sorry about the flickering by the way, there's not a lot I can do about that. Got the cable entry there. What I'm gonna do is get those little sticky tabs that can hold cable ties, just a cable tie that cable up properly so that it's properly secured. I've earthed the casing here using this little lug with the earthing. Obviously the actual driver is class two anyway, and so is the dimmer. The dimmer's just mounted in here. 
like that and I just drill the hole through to be able to mount the dimmer on the outside like this and so it's quite discreet but uh, it means that you can actually dim the lights as much or as little as you want to so quite a nice result so far it's a lot of work doing the cutting and soldering but I have to say I'm really pleased with how it's looking really nice and bright just in terms of the equipment that I'm using here this is all LED now all LED stuff is expensive but it's really good quality very reliable so I always use all LED when it comes to my LED strip installations and it's 24 volts we've got this dimmable 80 watt driver and then the strip itself is 24 volts 15 watts per meter so I can actually measure it out and calculate how many watts it's going to be taking it's probably quite a lot less than 80 but I just wanted to be sure that I had enough capacity for each fittings I allowed for about five meters worth which hopefully is about right the dimmer switch that I'm using is a Verilite V Pro dimmer which I designed for LEDs and um, it can dim up to I think 120 watts of LED something like that so again it's adequate for our needs and it's just a dimming module so you can just fit it into any plate you just buy the module the only thing is it doesn't come with a knob usually, but fortunately I had a few spare knobs, so that wasn't a problem. Right, so this one's complete. So I can just put the casing on now. What I've done is just use these little cable tie holders just to hold the little bits of wire that I've joined it with uh, down. And I've used those as well to hold the main cable and just to secure any loose cables just to make it look neat and, and tidy and to hold everything in place. Compression gland there so that will hold the cable securely anyway. And I've just fitted blind grommets to these various holes that were open and basically it's just got a plug on it so I'm going to put the cover on now and um, see how it looks <laughs> Right guys, well this one's done. What a palaver that was. It was uh, real fiddly doing all the soldering and everything. And then unfortunately I hit a bit of a snag when I tried to turn it on and it didn't work. And um, basically there was a small bit of the LED strip that was actually blown. This piece here, believe it or not. Uh, but it took me ages to trace the problem. There's basically a dead short between positive and negative on this, which I've never had before but it just stopped the whole system from working. So I had to go through piece by piece and trace it with my continuity tester until I found the piece that was dodgy. But anyway, we are um, up and running with this one. And as you can see, it looks pretty magnificent. I am super proud of this project, to be honest. I think it, it's just such a nice project. Um, and yeah, one of my favorite kind of things to do really is stuff like this, this bespoke kind of work it's real artisan work which is my kind of thing you know so uh, yeah let me know in the comments what you guys think have you ever done any projects like this i'd love to know
So the finished product, looking pretty awesome if I say so myself. Let me know in the comments what you think. That's the tea.